Tuesday, everyone. I am back with another um, tutorial. This one is for Sam's Beadbox, Amethyst Allure, and that is our February 2024 box. Um, I have a correction that I need to make because I am silly sometimes, and um, I just want to go back to when I said a curated bead box for February 2024 was actually March 2024. So I wanted to make that correction here. Um, I don't think there's any reason to pull the video down and, and have Chris redo it. It's just a lot of extra work. It was totally my mistake. I gave him the wrong information. How is he to know? So <laughs> I just want to let you guys know that that was um, an error on my part. So um, I need to come clean with that and let you guys know that. Um, that way there's no confusion. I think what confuses me is they're so fast at shipping theirs out like super soon that I blended in with all, with all the other ones and they are actually like, the way they ship, it's like a little bit ahead um, instead of in the middle of the month that the that it's currently on, you know what I mean? So it's a little bit different. So I apologize for that if I confused anybody. Um, maybe you didn't even notice, but I'm calling you out any calling it out anyway because I saw it and I'm like, oh, that's not right. <laughs> so um, there will be. Uh, it's gonna look like we're gonna skip March, but we did March. So um, anyway, okay. But we're on to Sam's Beatbox, and we are still doing Amethyst Allure, and it's beautiful. And today I am going to make a necklace, and. Um, I think it's gonna turn out cute in my mind it's cute but I say that all the time and then you know I'm not usually too disappointed I, I can usually make it work I change my mind a couple times to tell you guys what I'm gonna do and then I you know change it up in the middle and I do something else um, but either way that's how we work right that's what we do so I'm gonna get you guys flipped around and um, I will chit chat with you a little bit while I do this necklace. Okay, so what we're using today is we have the um, six millimeter amethyst smooth round beads. We have the cultured freshwater pearls. We have these cute little four millimeter check, gla check glass round um, <laughs> luster uh, beads. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't talk. And then we also have the cute um, pinch beads with the silk luster. Those are really pretty. I am going to use the link, the little butterfly link, and one of these cute little flower charms on here. Um, haven't decided what side I really, really want to see the most, but it doesn't matter. They're both beautiful. So we're gonna use that as well. I did have, buy, um, I grabbed some little bead caps because I feel like we're gonna need it. And I also have some chain here, a little tiny, these are, these are so cute. Look at how teeny tiny this little um, clasp is. It's so super teeny tiny, I love it. And then of course I have some other things that we're gonna need, head pins, jump, in, jump, jump rings, eye pins, um, all that kind of stuff. So we are going to use some Beadaland 49 strand uh, wire. So, I am testing a theory with myself because I don't typically buy the 49 strand because um, I'm always happy with the seven strand, but I also know how my necklaces lay and I want to see if it's correct that it's going to lay better with this. So we're gonna give it a shot, we're gonna try it. And I couldn't resist it for that price at Hobby Lobby. I mean, come on, it was half off. I mean, that's pretty good. So we're gonna use that, we're gonna give it a try. And I'm using the bright because the, there is some antique silver in here and I just think it would look nice. You can come in Marmalade. I don't have the door closed all the way because I'm the only one home besides the animals. So nobody's gonna care if I'm talking. Um, come in, you can come in, it's open. It's not, must not be open enough for him. Come on, buddy. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff here that we're not going to need right away. And let's dump out our beads so that we have all of those here and ready. And I just wanna kinda of show you what I want to do just so you can see what I'm thinking. 
So I'm thinking I want the butterfly to be up on the side like so. And um, I just wanna do, I, I wanted to do just a single strand, which I think I'm still gonna do just a single strand necklace. And um, if I do a double strand, it would end up probably having some chain involved. But I also want to do like a little dangle hanging from the side here, you know, with a couple of these like little beads, um, like so, because I think that would really be pretty. Just one little dangle, you know, like so. And um, yeah, so that's where I'm at. That's what I wanna do. So let's go ahead and um, see what we need to start with. So I am going to go ahead and get out, and I do realize, I made a lot of mistakes last week, you guys. I made a lot of mistakes. One, I totally forgot to take a picture of the cheesecake that I made. Completely forgot. You know, and I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm so, so sorry that I forgot to do that. And then, um, of course, I can't take a picture of it now because it's totally gone. And then I forgot to provide the link for this, like I said I was going to, which I will do this time and I won't forget this time. So I owe you guys one cheesecake. <laughs> I owe you one whole cheesecake. All right, so let me go ahead and grab what we need. We're gonna go ahead and use these little um, crimp beads that came in one of my boxes here because you know what? I've been using them and they're not bad. They're actually really good little crimp beads. So I'm happy with them. So we're gonna go ahead and use those today. And we might as well just start the one end. And I know that I want this to be, um, I want to use some chain mainly for the back, but I want to see mostly pearls. So I want to figure out where I want it to lay on my body. And I'm thinking, if you saw when I first was talking to you where my um, necklace was laying that I was wearing, I kind of want it to be that length. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure accordingly to about how much chain I plan on using and cut off there. And I'll let you know what I measured this at. I have yet to place my order for my Amazon cart because I have to go through it and see what I really don't need because I really, probably shouldn't just hit buy all today. <laughs> um, I would love to just buy all, but I don't know if you guys are like me that um, you just build up a cart and you go through and you're like, oh, save this one for later, save that one for later. Okay, so I cut just over 16 and a half inches. So by the time I'm done with my um, while your Guardians and stuff, it'll probably be more like 15 and three quarters or 15 and a half. So that will be just about perfect. And then we'll of course cut our chain accordingly too to however long I want this necklace to be. And if this goes quickly and we have time, we'll make a matching set of earrings. That would be wonderful. I would love to have a matching set of earrings for this. All right. Well, I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. My weekend was super busy. Um, we did go see Shane's grandma on Sunday and we brought her her hamburger and her fries and she was so happy. You guys, it's so heartbreaking though because she, you know, she's in this marvelous um, uh, um, home for, you know, for the elderly and she's not really wanting to make friends. Um, she has a little roommate and her roommate is super nice and she even said herself that her roommate is nice um, but she's just not really wanting to make friends i forgot my uh crimping pliers i left them out in the living room hold on i'll be right back okay i'm back so i think she doesn't want to make friends because she just really wants to go home she can't go home and and she knows that she can't go home and it's really super hard i'm going to see if i can just hook this right on to here. Try to figure out how I want to do it. I want to do it like this. Okay, so I think that she just doesn't want to make friends because she just really wants to go home. And I think that if, 
I think she's got the mindset that if she doesn't make friends and she shows that she doesn't want to be there, that things will change. Well, you know, in-home, you know, care would be ideal for her. It really would, but it's so, so very expensive. And, um, you know, and then the house would also have to be, you know, like the taxes would have to be paid. She lives in like a really nice mobile home community. And so she owns her home, but you know, she would have to, you know, we would still have to pay lot rent and um, she would have, you know, the, the taxes and stuff that she'd have to take care of and um, all the utilities and things like that. So it really, um, I did that. I didn't do that right, you guys. It's not what I wanted. Let me just cut that off. <laughs> I thought, I thought I knew what I was doing, but I didn't. So here's mistake number one, you guys. Here's mistake number one. Good thing I've got enough wire cut. All right, let's try that again. This time I'm just not even gonna bother hanging it on there because I think I'll have better luck once it's strung to grab a little tiny jump ring and hang it with the jump ring. So let's just do that. And let's not worry about hanging it on our little butterfly right now because I'm getting myself all worked up. <laughs> all right. So anyway, um, she just doesn't want to do it. And uh, she said, I, I said, well, is everybody nice to you here, Grandma? And she said, yeah, everyone's really nice to me. And, you know, they take good care of me and everything. You guys, they have a little hairdresser that works, that, that, you know, is in that area. And she goes and gets her hair done every Tuesday. You know, she gets it washed and set. Um, so it, it's a really nice place. Um, but I get it, you know, because she said, she says, you know, it's fine, you know, here, but there's no place like home. And um, Marmalade, I hear you. Do you guys hear my crazy cat? Doesn't it sound like he's saying hello? Marmalade, I'm in here, buddy. Um, anyway, and she started tearing up and it just broke my heart. Broke my heart. And I, you know, on our way um, to Shane's sister's house to go play cards or go play games after, I, um, you know, I was telling Shane, I'm like, you know, I just wish there was a way that we could just bring her to our house and keep her with us. But I mean, there's just, there's no way. I mean, we're full, you know, we have the boys here. You know, if we didn't have the boys here, there's a bedroom down here that she could be in. You know, I thought about, you know, maybe I could give up my craft room and just maybe I could do it in the basement. And, um, you know, Shane's like, no, Jody, we, we just can't do that. You know, we both have so much going on that, you know, we both work during the day. So we'd still have to get like, um, like daycare for her. Right. But I just feel so terrible that she, you know, she's just really sad. You guys, she's just really, really sad. And I don't know, she's 90 and, um, I asked her, I said, you know, Grandma, we're going to come back every week. You know, is there anything that you want me to bring you uh, next weekend when we come? You know, is there like a little special treat that you don't get here that you would like? And she said, um, she doesn't have any diet restrictions either, by the way. I, and she says, I would really like some chocolate. And I said, Grandma, I would bring you all the chocolate in the world. So I am um, <laughs> planning on adding um, a bunch of different yummy chocolates to my grocery cart um, for delivery on Friday. So this weekend when we go, we'll have some delicious chocolates for her to munch on. So that's my, that's my really sad, you know, sad stuff that I have to talk about. But I mean, other than that, you know, she's doing really good and she's just, she's such a sweet lady. You know, she, she always tells me and she always, always told me, I should say that, you know, she prayed for Shane to find someone like me. And, um, it just, it makes me so happy. It really does. But 
I guess, you know, we all get old and, you know, it, it just, it happens. But I, you know, I told my mom, I said, you know, come heck or high water, you know, I will have you here with me and you won't be, I won't do that, you know? But I mean, who who's to say I know what's going to happen because I, I may not know what's going to happen. You know, she could get to the point where she's really bad off and there won't be anything that I can do, you know, to help her. But I mean, I guess we'll cross that bridge when it happens. But see, this is what I do to myself, you guys. I take these little scenarios that happen in my life and then I make them so big that they, you know, they swallow me whole. And um, it's just been on my mind a lot. So if you guys could please say a little prayer for Grandma Norma and, um, you know, that, you know, she is able to um, maybe make some friends while she's there and, you know, it would, I think it would just help her so much if she could. All right, so I think this is, this is, think this is a pattern I like. I think I like this. So I think we're gonna continue with this. You know, I'm not usually a pattern girl, but when I do see a pattern I like, I'm like, there it is, right there. So we're gonna go with that. <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking about something and you know that usually means trouble when I pause and I just stare at my beads for a second because I'm thinking about something. I'm still thinking about it. I think maybe I need to cut some of this wire. Okay, I'm just gonna keep thinking about it while we chit chat about what we're doing here. Um, so let me think anything else that happened this weekend, you know, my brother, we celebrated his birthday. Um, we went and played games, uh, this coming weekend, um, Shane's got to work all weekend because they're behind at work and, um, but he gets out early enough in the day that we can still do some fun things and we'll probably end up doing more stuff with family. We, we seem to do a lot with our family on the weekends. And I know uh, it's hard to like, it's hard for me to like sit still because we're constantly doing stuff. And then when we're not doing stuff, I'm so exhausted that I'm just like ready to crash out on the couch. As a matter of fact, Sunday after being busy, um, Friday night, Saturday, Saturday night, like the whole time, I pretty much just said it was seven o'clock and I said, you know what? That's it. I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm done. I didn't want anything else. I just wanted to go to bed. So that's what I did. I went straight to bed and it felt amazing to be in bed early and I may not have fallen asleep right away, but it was nice just to like crash, you know, and just, just get some rest. It was, it was good. It was much needed. I'm really desperately trying to figure out the color problem that I'm having with my camera. Um, I have enough light. I have it on a setting where there's no filter and I don't know why some of my colors are coming up funky. So until I get it figured out, thank you for your patience, you guys, like letting me stumble through this and get it figured out. I am no tech person by any means. I have no clue what's going on with technology half the time. So um, yeah, thank you for just being patient with me and being kind. And while I work things out and work things through, I'll get there eventually, you know that. All right, yeah, I like the way this is looking. So when I was pausing and thinking, I was thinking maybe I need to cut this in, in half because I really would like it to be, the butterfly to be right about here. 
I wasn't thinking when I cut my string. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do two more like this on the end. Oh, actually, no, this is next. So yeah, we'll do two more of these with the little bead caps. And if I'm gonna keep being indecisive, we probably won't have time to do earrings, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Earrings are usually pretty fast, so um, we'll see what happens. So a crazy, again, weather. So it was so cold for like four days, and now today it's 50 again. I I don't even know what to say anymore about Michigan. I don't even know. Michigan, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> All right, so here we go. This is what we're going to do. Now we're going to end it, and we are going to, I want to put it right directly on the butterfly because I don't like using too many jump rings. So let's just see how it'll end up looking. Maybe that's why I was getting confused about how I wanted to do things because I couldn't figure out what I was doing really. All right, so let's put that on here. And let's just run this all the way down. And then let's string on our butterfly. Oh yeah, good, it fits. Oh, it fits nice. Good, 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 good. Okay, whew, something is working out, you guys. Something is working out for me. All right, let's just pull that through nice and gently so we don't get it all curly. That's the one thing I don't like about pulling um, the beading wire through. If you have a little bit extra, it ends up um, getting kind of curly. So let's just pull that really gently and grab my crimp bead, my crimp pliers. And let's just go ahead and crimp that down real quick. Okay. All right. Perfect. Looks good. Looks good. Let me get in there get that trimmed off. And then we'll just do another little shorty one here. You know what, this is actually going pretty smooth. All things considered, it's going pretty smooth. So here we go. So it's gonna be kind of like this. So we're gonna have another little short piece here. Yeah, 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 it's going good. All right, we're doing good. All right, so let me get a couple more little crimp beads. You know, the, I can't remember who does it, and maybe somebody will know, but there is a designer that I, um, I've i watched do things, and she draws pictures. Oh, it's Marcy. It's Marcy. She draws pictures sometimes, and you know what? Maybe that's what I need to start doing, is when I have an idea in my head, I need to draw a picture of it so I can kind of work it out on paper before I bring it to the mat, then you guys wouldn't have all this really fun time watching me change my mind 50 million times. But it would be more efficient, I think. So I don't know, maybe I can give that a shot. And of course, you know, I'm not the perfect doodler, so it's gonna, it would look really crazy, but if I can figure it out, then we're all good. All right. Just making sure I'm still on camera here, and I am. Because you guys know how I like to float away sometimes. And then we're going to go ahead and hang this right on here. I hear you, Mars. I got Cheeto sitting in here, Marmalade's in the hallway, debating whether or not he wants to really come in or not. And Woody's out sleeping on the couch. Lucy is probably causing trouble somewhere. Um, that's that's my life, you guys. That's my life. And anyone who is 
has pets or children know that that is what your life is. <laughs> it's, it's having um, little ones all over the house doing all kinds of different things and um, trying to keep up with them all. All right. Okay, crimping that up there. All right, and then we're just gonna flow right into the pattern still, like, like this never happened. We're just gonna pretend like that's not even there. So we're gonna go right into our purple amethyst beads. So I wanna thank people who, you know, were telling me about the sister store having Coriana chain because so I didn't discover it right away until like somebody said something about it. And I've been, I haven't been doing a lot of online shopping uh, recently because I'm trying to like curtail it a little bit and try to do stuff with what I have for right now and uh, see what I can make with what I have. And um, so I haven't really been paying too much attention about what's on the websites that I like to go to. So I do appreciate you guys letting me know and I've been able to pass that information along too to others. So I do wanna let people know if you're looking for a Coriana chain, you can definitely get it from uh, Beadbox Bargains, the sister store. So uh, they have it and they have it in gold and in silver. If you're looking for other colors, you'll probably have to go to maybe Etsy. I know I've had good luck with Etsy, um, but yeah, they definitely have the gold and the silver. I have not bought any yet because when I did buy some the last time, I bought a ton of it and I won't need any for a little while. I'll be good for a bit. So I know that's probably, it's probably something I should do anyway, even if I do have enough, because we know that stuff sells out pretty fast and I could be um, out of luck. So I am putting my, my bead caps on a little bit different, like throughout. It's not, um, I'm not doing it consistently, but I'm just kind of throwing them in there in different ways just to give it a little bit of different interest like I don't the bee caps don't have to be exactly the same going all the way down the line so I'm doing that a little bit differently so if you like this bee box you guys should definitely really if you don't have it already you should definitely Think about joining Sam's Bead Box subscription. Uh, very nice beads, beautiful curated boxes. I mean, just, just amazing. So um, think about it. If you wanna do it, I'll make sure the link is on the show notes. And I will also remind you that, in, you know, until we get an affiliation, which we're trying, um, until we get an affiliation, you can use the promo code VIP to save $5 on your first box. So uh, give it a try, see what you think, or you know, if you get it already, awesome. I would love to know what you're making out of this box. I really would like that. And you know, if you want to, you can, you know, and if you are part of uh, a Beat on a Wire sales on Facebook, you know, Wendy's little um, Facebook that she set up. If you're on there, I'm on there. So you can tag me in your photo. I would really love that because I check my tags and I don't really get on Facebook too much lately. But if you're on mine or on my, my jewelry page, I do see those come through. But um, if you tag me in something, then I'll definitely see it for sure. All right, so we're gonna just about end this here. So we're gonna do this one little piece here and this one. Okay, so it's not going to be, actually, I think I wanna shorten this even more because I want, no, actually,
actually, you know what? I don't hate that. I don't hate that where it's at, but I don't, I think it'll hang weird. So let's just shorten it a little bit more. Let's go to right about here. So this is what we're gonna do. Okay. So this is kind of what I want, like that, if you can see that. That's what I want. I want it to be right about here. And then I want to be able to just hang a dangle and um, you know, maybe a couple dangles off of that. All right, so let's go ahead and close this side up. We will use a jump ring to attach it to the chain. Oops. I'll save my little piece for something else later. I think I made this way shorter than what I wanted to in the beginning, but that's okay, because I have chain and we will do chain. It's absolutely fine. It'll actually be an even shorter necklace, which I kind of like because I do have a lot of V-neck um, shirts and I like the way the necklace just like will lay like on my skin. Um, and like, you know, it was part of me and not like really just on my shirt. So I do wear a lot of pieces like that. So I think this will sit really nice just like that. All right. And I think we will have time to do it with little quick pair of earrings. I don't see why we wouldn't. We can, we can do it. We can do whatever we want, right? Save that little piece. All right. Good, good, good. So I'm going to go ahead and just scoop this stuff up real quick when I bring it back. When I come right back, we'll put the chain on and we'll make some earrings. Okay, I'm back. Let's go ahead and make our little dangle for our our um, butterfly here. Let's see, we need a few of these things. We need a couple of little jump rings. And let's see. All right, don't need those. So let's see what we have. Got little pieces of metal everywhere because I had to cut my chain. All right, so we have this. And I think what I want to do is I want to, I want the pearl at the bottom, I think. So let's do these two guys and a bead cap on top of it on our eye pin. And this we're just going to um, do an, uh, a simple wrap, a simple loop, I mean. Oh my goodness. I'm like, I'm making such a mess over here. I'm making such a mess. But I hear from a lot of you saying that you also have a mess on your, on your table. So I'm glad I'm not the only one. I'm trying to be more organized and I've given myself more room on my workspace and I am using every square inch, believe me. All right, and then we're going to do this little guy, beautiful little pearl and um, a, head, a small head pin here, and we're going to wire wrap it on and just hook those two together. off part of that. Straighten out my little, my little loop there. These really thin um, head pins can get very bendy. Alright, almost. Keeps wanting to twist around on me. All right, let's just open up this one here. And hang that on there. Like so. I think 
we can just hang this directly on. I don't know if we need a jump ring or not. Let's try it out and see. My cat is so loud, you guys. I'm so sorry. He's being so loud. He is just talking like crazy. I think we will have to use a jump ring, which is fine. I have jump rings out, so we're good. All right. Man, if I keep taking any longer, we won't have time to do a pair of earrings. I have to do it separately, but I really want to do them now because I want them now. All right. There we go. And then we can hang this little guy here too. Just wanted a couple little dangles hanging from the butterfly. I know it looks a little odd, but I think wearing it, I think it'll look really pretty. And if it doesn't, you know, we can get rid of the little dangles. It's just not that hard. We just have to undo the little jump rings and take them right off. Never be afraid to try something. So you can always change your mind and undo it. I hear you, Marms. It literally sounds like he's saying hello. So, you know, when we first got him, oh my gosh, like, I don't know, 19 years ago, he was already a few years old. And um, the first night at home, we went to bed. You know, he was all happy because he he's such a people cat. You know, he loves people. So he fit right in with the family right away, loved the kids, everything. And so we all got ready for bed and I made sure he had his food and his water and he was, I left him downstairs in the living room and I just figured, you know, I'll leave my door open and if he wants to come up, you know, to see where I'm at, he can, you know, it would be fine. And, um, we all got cozy in bed, got the lights shut off and we had a two story house and all of our bedrooms were upstairs and it was a really short hallway. So all of a sudden we start hearing this, hello hello, hello, and I'm like, what in the world is that? I looked at um, my kid's dad, and I said, do you hear that? And he says, yeah, that's weird. So we couldn't really tell that it was him. It just, it was the weirdest sound. It was so weird, so out of the ordinary. And we're like, what in the world? So I turned on the hallway light, and my daughter came out of her room. William was sound asleep because he was still just really little. Um, but he was sound asleep, but Ashley came out of her room and she says, mom, what is that? <laughs> and sure enough, we look downstairs and there's Marmalade at the bottom of the stairs and he's doing the hello. And I said, well, we're up here. Come up here, buddy. <laughs> it's just so funny. Such a nutball cat. I'm telling you. but we love him to pieces and we would never want him to be anything other than what he is. He's, he's a silly, silly little goose and we love him. All right. So two more jump rings. Should have had all four of them out, but I did not. So that's okay. All right. We're almost done with this necklace. And I like the simplicity of it. I like it. It's just enough to like stand out on its own, but it's not super big. And you know me, I like my big, my big um, chunky jewelry. I do like chunky jewelry, but I really also like stuff that feels very small and streamlined just as much. So we'll see how this looks when I put it on. All right, and I have I have a couple ear wires here, so let's do a really quick pair of earrings. And they don't have to be fancy smanchy. They just need to be something that will look cute with this. Something simple and um, easy to do. And I want it to be, I want it to involve those pearls, definitely. Those are pretty. I feel like I'm gonna need more of those. I love a freshwater pearl. They're just so cute. 
They're so pretty. All right, here we go. So this is what our necklace looks like, and I think I really like that. I think it's gonna be pretty. All right, so let's put him off to the side, and let's grab, uh, I have a couple eye pins here, and I have a couple head pins. So let's do something with those. Let's grab a couple pearls. Let's grab a couple amethysts. Ooh, that's more than a couple. Not sure how many we're gonna use, but let's grab four. Let's grab a couple of these. And let's grab a few of these bead caps. Okay, cool, we got it. All right, so I want this to be kind of like the pearls on one and the amethyst on another. And let's see how we can make this look. So I think that if I start with this one, and I think, oh goodness. Oh, it fits, fits barely, okay. <laughs> and then maybe do another pearl. Oh, that one, that one's fine. And then this. And let's do, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna like that. Let's do this. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Okay. And let's do a simple loop. There we go. And let's make the bottom part of it. So I need my head pin. And let's use a little bead cap. You know what, let's put two bead caps on. I want two bead caps on. So one on the bottom, one on the top. And then, you know what, I think I want to do another pearl. I want this to be very pearly. And let's do that. And then we can hang it like so. I like that, That I like that, which is the one amethyst. That's perfect, that's exactly what I want. Okay. All right, let's do our little wrap loop here real quick. And these will come together really super fast. And now, especially that I saw exactly what I wanted to do and what I liked. So we gotta do these pretty quickly here. All right. Give that a little cut. And let's go ahead and while we're right here, let's just hook on this one. go. I'm going to be working on some more quick quick jewelry crafts for you guys too this weekend. Um, I'm, I'm putting together some really fun, super simple, you know, under 30 minute videos. Um, I'm hoping to keep them around 15 minutes, but I'm wanting to do a few of those in a row and just do some real fun, simple, quick ideas. And um, so hopefully I'll be filming those this weekend and we'll have them up next week. I have been doing some longer ones, but I've had some unboxings and stuff like that to do. And this one's longer too, because it took me a long time to figure out what I wanted to do. So that's my fault. But I do want to periodically do some of those short ones because I know that um, there's a lot of you that don't have time to sit and watch the whole thing. And yeah, you can fast forward, but why? You know, cause I can make long videos and I can make short videos and everybody's happy. And um, I don't mind doing the short ones either because I can, I can knock a few little tiny projects out in no time as long as I'm super organized about it. So I just gotta be super organized about it. <laughs> and I am trying to come up with something for Easter, um, a quick little Easter craft, something that maybe you can make with, with the kids or the grandkids or nieces and nephews. Uh, so I'm trying to come up with something like that for you guys too. I saw some really cute ideas on Pinterest that I think I would like to share with you. 
Um, I love kid-friendly crafts. That's one thing that um, I think is really great. And I did find out recently, I don't know how many of you, I know we have a, a, diff, a big age range here. You know, we have all the way from the young, you know, to the older, and um, I fall in that older category, of course, but um, I don't know if any of you remember doing Shrinky Dinks when you were a child. So if not, or if you've never heard of that, or if you think I must be having a fever dream, Shrinky Dinks were, I had Smurfs. So if you don't know what Smurfs are, that's a whole different conversation. We'll have that conversation some other time. Anyway, I had Smurfs because I love the Smurfs. And I, my mom got me the Shrinky Dink kit and basically it was like the special paper. It was like a plasticky paper that you color on and they were already cut out in shapes of the Smurfs and you just colored them in. And then after you colored them in, um, you could punch a little hole like in the top um, or something like that to make a keychain. Or some of them came with little stands that you can make like little figurines out of them. Anyway, you put them, you, after you color them, you put them in the oven and you bake them and they shrink down in the oven. Then you let them cool and then you have this little like plastic thing that you yourself colored and it's really cool. Anyway, I found out that you can buy the Shrinky Dink paper, just plain paper by itself. And I think I'd really like to show you guys something with that. I think that would be really cool. All right, so there we go. We got our earrings, our really pretty earrings, and our really pretty necklace. And I think it turned out really cute. I'm gonna turn you guys around and we'll get this tried on. Okay guys, here's the necklace. I think it turned out great. I like it. I gotta get a little bit closer, hold on. There, yeah, you can see it. Sorry, I'm holding my shirt out a little bit, but I think it turned out really cute. And then here's the earrings. I think they turned out really pretty too. I like those. All right, there you go. Oh, and I'm also including at the end of this video, um, stay tuned because there was one morning this week, I think it was yesterday morning, where I got up in the morning and Cheeto was sleeping in my craft room. Oh, he's not there anymore. I thought maybe he was still there, but he was sleeping in my craft room. And oh my gosh, you guys, his cuteness overload. Seriously, so cute. So stay tuned just for a small snippet of my sweet little Cheeto um, being snuggly and sweet early in the morning. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I hope you like the necklace and I hope you like the earrings. I hope you thought it was fun, even though it was a little bit longer than um, some of them have been lately. Anyway, I love you all so much and thank you for being here. Thank you for all your kind words and encouragement. Um, Please remember to keep Grandma Norma in your prayers. Um, just pray for her to, you know, just kind of peacefully accept um, being there and enjoy being there and that, you know, she keeps her good health and um, makes lots of friends. All right. Bye, guys. Have a really blessed week. Thank you. Good morning, Chico. Oh, big yarn. Good morning. Good morning. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Are you mama's baby? Are you mama's baby? Yes. Such a good boy.